In the central part of the Gulf lies the coast of Ghana. It's November, and new lives are being conceived. The beaches here are very popular with sea turtles. There are seven types of sea turtles on Earth, and five of them hatch on this coastline. Construction teams from China Harbor Engineering Company are renovating and expanding Tema Port. They're building a new wharf for the old 1980s port construction, aiming to transform it into an important shipping hub for Western Africa. However, the engineers need to take into account the needs of some of the indigenous residents of the beach area. My name is Manasi Aminyabu. I joined China Harbor as a sea turtle technician. In 2016, when the construction work began, China Harbor hired Manasse to look after the sea turtles. In the beginning, he patrolled a three-kilometer stretch of coastline and set up fences where the sea turtle eggs were discovered. However, with an increasing number of fences along the beach, the passage of construction vehicles was becoming obstructed. Liu Wei is 36. He came to Ghana two years ago. As the deputy project manager, he's responsible for environmental protection. To protect the sea turtles, he's collected their eggs from the beach and set up a secure sea turtle breeding center near the construction site. The engineering team put up a frame. It was covered with netting to prevent predators from getting at the sea turtle eggs and to shelter the sand from the sun. The team tried hard to simulate the natural hatching environment by paving on the ground clean, fine and soft sand to create a maternity ward for sea turtles. The eggs will need to be transferred to the new maternity ward. Sea turtles usually lay their eggs at night, and their newborn are very delicate. The sooner the eggs are relocated, the higher the successful hatch rate will be. During the laying period, Manasseh searches the beach for turtle eggs almost every evening. Even if I'm not there, and she comes and lay and go away, I'm still able to notice or follow their tracks or the nest area and be able to get the eggs. Artificial incubation requires skill. One burrow for each clutch of eggs. The size and depth of the burrows needs to be carefully calculated. We have to go by the same standard like the turtle comes and does it. With the wet sand inside, and then on the top we use the dry sand to cover it. Sea turtle eggs incubate without the mother turtle. With eggs covered in the sand and an even temperature maintained, young turtles will hatch out of the shell all by themselves. In about 50 days, the first batch of sea turtles artificially hatched at Tamer Port should emerge. Land reclamation is a major part of the harbour expansion. The Tianjin Hao is a Chinese-built, state-of-the-art, self-propelled cutter suction dredger. It can suck up 4,500 cubic meters of sand-water mixture per day, which is discharged through pipelines two kilometers away to make the foundation for a new container yard. However, if the dredging pipes lay across the beach, they may block the female sea turtles from getting to their nesting sites. To avoid this, the engineering team ran the pipes one meter above the level of the beach. Six weeks on, the dredging for the container yard is nearly done and the first baby sea turtles appear at the breeding center. The infant turtles scamper down the sands and into the sea. 
They'll wander the oceans for decades before returning to these same waters to mate. And the females will clamber up the beach to deliver the next generation back into the sand. Their memory and homing skills are nothing short of miraculous. It's important to develop the country and it's also important to protect the animals in the environment too because they also help us in one way or the other.